everyone, Haro Itoje here. So right now I'm at Queen's Garden Estate in Igondu, Bejuleki. And if that doesn't ring a bell, it is in the same area where we have the popular beachfront park and garden estate phase one and phase two. Recently the phase two was closed for sale and so here I'm bringing you an alternative to that. It's from the same company, the same developers, the same attractions that we have for the beach from phase one and two is the same attraction that we have to this the ocean is just here it is sitting on the um, proposed coastal road to lake Ekpe expressway and the same coastal road that leads you to um, victoria island the Sonia, just like the lake Ekpe express way does too so um since beach from um, phase one and phase two is now closed for sale i said i should bring you something that still has the same attraction but you know it's just that this one says for 3.6 though but and it has approved extension but it's still worthwhile it's still a good one let's just walk into the estate and let's show you a bit of the land you know so, so as you can see the driving is already created they are also working on the driving on this way some things are going to be adjusted here All this way hit, um, if you read about it, it's true. This land goes all the way to where it heads. It's probably meeting with a main estate phase two. The houses that are already developing is down there. Um, I'm not sure how many plots we have here, but it's still selling. It's selling for 3.6 million naira. Um, it has a, a good title, a good decision, which is safe. And the company intends to do C or O for it. So you really have nothing to worry about. So if you missed out on this from phase two, phase one, this is a good alternative. This is the same. This is closer. To, closer than beachfront phase two actually um with like five minutes i'm going to drive and get to beachfront to, to phase two just to show you the distance like the very short distance and it's on the same road so you don't think i'm just using that to say this one um, so that's it um so now i'll say let's just go out and drive to beachfront phase two just to show you the distance between queen's garden um and then beachfront phase two So um, I'm driving to Beachfront Phase 2 now. This is the Queen's Garden Estate. So let's just time it together how long it takes us to get to Beachfront Phase 2. So for those of you who missed out on Beachfront Phase 2, this is the this is a good alternative and um, everything working for that works for this as well. And you know if you still want that beachfront um, view and beachfront property this is a good one the, the, the only thing that works that works against this estate is that they didn't name it beachfront so when you hear the name you don't think it has a beachfront but this all this all other side this left hand side is completely is water is ocean is the sea you know is a what do you call it atlantic, atlantic yeah <laughs> so Whatever is on this road, whatever is on this road, all the way down is a beachfront property.
See the signboard already. I can already see beachfront face too. All these houses, all these old. Of course, this place is still a village. It's a not common area, so it was. <laughs> They're still operating as a village and the houses, some of the ugly or a lot of the ugly houses that you see, I'm sure that by the time the government wants to fix this road, a lot of those houses will be taken down and we have a lot of estates coming down, coming up here now. So this is beach from phase two, you see it, this is just less than three minutes from Queens Garden Park, Ibejuleke, see it. Let me just go down for a second. So you see it? So less than three minutes drive. So see, there's a development going on in the beach from phase two, but this is this estate is closed for sale now and it's Queen's Gardens. Um, that is selling now and is owned by the same developer out of the three estates that um, landmark has here it is the queen's garden that is the closest maybe that's why it's selling for 3.6 million naira it has always been available um it has always been available it's just this that this one for some reason because the access road to the ocean is closer to sea from this one i guess that's or the name the name beachfront is what worked for this and worked against that but either way that this is a good alternative and you've seen for yourself so if you have questions call me um if if you have any questions you know i'll be glad to take your questions if you if you're ready to buy quickly do this once we set this out once this sells out i don't know if we have another beachfront um, coming from landmark and you know landmark is a good developer and you know one of the top developers out there doing doing us proud so i'll be expecting your call thanks for watching god bless you bye for now so before i go finally i said i should show you the access road to the to the atlantic ocean that's the queens you see it queens garden estate now let's come with me you look at it now this is the access road to the atlantic ocean and this is the south atlantic i just checked it on the map this is the south atlantic ocean coastal line you know so we we'll just walk on it and show you i can see the water already I just wanted to show you because each of them, you know that our beachfront had this access road and this one too has this access road and there are different access roads like that as you drive because you know it's a long road, the coastal road is a long road so in between drives you see approved, government approved access road. Now this is it for um, Queen's Garden Estates. Let me see. Time is how long it took us, it took me to walk there. I'll show you quickly. So, see, now you are walk. <laughs> My car behind me. So, I just want to show you um, walk there and let you see that it's just a few minutes walk from the Queens. It's just unfortunate that Queens Garden doesn't have a beachfront in its name. So when people hear about it, they are not thinking that it's a beachfront property, but it's actually a beachfront property. And all this place people already live here. Um, as for building a house close on the coastal line, very close to the coastal line, um, I know that it's not approved by the government. So these houses, you know, this is a village that is being developed to become something else now, something different now, but they are still villages. So these are the community, the houses you see here. And then here, so this access road is part of, if you've heard of a Leko Beach, 
So you see it now. You see that this area and its own, it's, it's a developed area. It's a developed area already and people already live here. But most of them are the community. People living here are people from the community. So you're not seeing a lot of posh houses yet because this place is still upcoming other than what the community people built you see it wow 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 i know you people abroad i like to have a notion view you people will be like oh can't i build a house here just on this side of the road no you can't it is not that safe for you to do that and lands on this side of the road are always um, always lands that belong to the community or belong to the government it's not they're always kind of in some kind of acquisition of the government you know so just stay on the other side and quietly walk to the to the ocean see it see life you see the life see the life this is the life we're promising you a beachfront life a relaxing the hair that is eating me here you cannot compare it and like i said this is south atlantic ocean the same ocean that goes all the way to cameroon that goes all the way to ghana that goes all the way to south africa this is the same ocean now you be fortunate to just live beside it just few minutes away from it so you see it let me turn my camera out to the front and show you so that's me you see what I see you see what I see here so that's the life we're promising you I'll be expecting you bye for now